Okay. Today, our goal is we will write and solve powers. So we want to go ahead and put our goal down at the top of the paper and go ahead and put a date. So the good news is I'm sure a lot of you already have some understanding of powers. This entire thing, when you see three to the second, this entire thing is called a power. And that power includes both of these. The three is what we call a base. And the base is the number being multiplied. And the one that probably most of you have an understanding of already, this is called an exponent. And an exponent is how many times you multiply the base by itself. Okay. So, this is my power, the whole thing. My base is 3, my exponent is 2. So if I do what's called expanded form, I'm going to write out 3 to the second is the same thing as 3 multiplied by this dot means multiply. We're going to see a lot of it when we do order of operations in algebra. So this is the same thing as 3 times 3, because I have a base of 3, and I'm multiplying it by itself 2 times, 3 times 3. And then if I evaluate it or solve it, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. Okay, so let's do a little practice. Let's say that I have 2 to the 4th. If I want to write it out in expanded form, my base is 2, my exponent is 4. So that means that it's the same thing as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So the base is 2, and I'm doing it by itself 4 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I want to evaluate it and solve it. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Okay. Well, what if we go ahead and I give you this? So let's say that I have this, what we call product of powers. I want to write it as a power. So think about what that means as writing it as a power. So the power means that I want the base and the exponent. Well, if I look at this, my base is 5. My exponent, how many times am I multiplying 5 by itself? 5, 5, 5. So it's 5 to the third power. Okay. What if, okay, here's one for you. If I did 6 to the first power. Now usually, there, if it's just 6, they're not going to put an exponent of 1. But that means the same thing. If I wrote it out in expanded form, my base is 6. And how many 6s do I have to multiply? Just 1. One other that I think is really useful to know is if you had 3 to the 0 power or 7 
to the zero power. Nine to the zero power. Two to the zero power. And believe it or not, all of those equal the same number. What number are you thinking of? Some of you are probably thinking that they all equal zero. But in reality, any number to the zero power equals one. Now, if you're wondering why that is, think about it this way. Let me give you an example. Let's say we go back to our two to the fourth power. And I'll just put it over here. Two to the fourth power is the same thing as two divided by two, or sorry, multiplied by two. Two multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two is 16. Well, two to the third power, I have one less two, so that means this number is going to be divided by two. So two multiplied by two multiplied by two, that takes me down to eight. Two to the second power, one less two, so this number divided by two to make it smaller. Two multiplied by two is four. You and I just did two to the first power. It's the same as four divided by two. That's two. Well, then here's the weird part. Two to the zero power is the same thing as two divided by two to make it smaller. Two divided by two is one. So remember, everything to the zero power equals one. It doesn't matter if you have five billion to the zero power, it's still going to be one. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn this and I'm going to do three to the third power. So three to the third power in expanded form is the same thing as three multiplied by three multiplied by three. If I want to solve it, my answer is going to be That's right, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. And remember, we can also do it backwards. I could give you, let's say that I gave you 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6. That's what we call product of powers. Product means you're multiplying. If I want to write it as a power, I need a base, and I need an exponent. My base is 6. My exponent is how many times I'm multiplying it by itself. And the nice way to think about it, how many are there? So it's 6 to the third power. All right, good job, everybody. Not quite. I'm going to give you one other power that I want you to solve. So if I gave you 4 to the third power, so that's the same thing as 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4. What do you think that my answer is going to be if I solve it? And you're right. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Okay, everybody. Good job.